Hello everybody, this is Machinetti here from Fashion Nerd. I am reporting from Munich Fabric Starts Key House and with me is Rosanna van der Meer. Did I say that correct or you might have correct me? Yeah, van der Meer, yeah. This is Rosanna and she is one of the exhibitors here. Um, she's from The Girl and the Machine, which if, if I'm correct, it's now evolved um, past The Girl and the Machine. So when I first met you um, back in, what was it? In, um, 2016. Wow, at the design show, wasn't it? And um, he was the girl in the machine. So you've evolved. Can you tell us a little bit about that story and how you've come to be um, a new brand? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, as you said, we started as the girl and the machine. And that's really what it was. It was just uh, me, uh, a girl, <laughs> and uh, totally falling in love with a 3D knitting machine, which may sound odd. But for me, it was really the solution uh, for my search to, to, for the future of sustainable fashion and also my future as a, as a designer. And um, so this uh, whole idea involves 3D knitting machines that we use as 3D printers to be able to make personalized uh, garments for everybody. Uh, because we felt that, um, yeah, in the current fashion industry, there are many things not going right, but it's very difficult to change things because yeah, for the consumer, you really have to come with something that's an improvement for them in order for them to change their behavior, and including my own, uh, because I'm on also only human and so easy to just consume uh, because it makes you feel happy. Um, but um, so, yeah, we're looking for a solution in, in the direction of um, adding value to a garment, adding meaning to a garment. Um, and that's what we found in working with these knitting machines that we can add like made to measure uh, aspects or uh, personalization aspects to a garment, which makes the garment more me meaningful and which makes the shopping more conscious and more satisfying. When it comes to 3D printing, I mean, most of you probably are aware of 3D printing now. Um, it's come quite far, hasn't it, from what it used to be. How are you finding the adoption and the reception of um, your particular product? Um, yeah, we're, we're a little bit in between um, because when people think about 3D printing, uh, most of the time people think about plastics and uh, quite solid materials still, although that is changing, but it's not... Um, as fast as that now so all of a sudden everybody wears 3D printed clothes. But we are a bit in between because we uh, realize that there are uh, actually genius uh, knitting robots, uh, which are the newest generation knitting machines, that are totally capable of being used as a 3D printer, but they're actually knitters. So they make a, a soft fabric, a very comfortable, stretchy fabric. And if you don't want it stretchy, you can weave a thread through it and it's uh, like a, a woven fabric. So there's really awesome possibilities to build clothing that way. And it, the, the clothes are built up uh, from a filament. Uh, just like in 3D printing, only it's not melted, but it's, knit, it's knitted together. Uh, so this is how the process works, and the products are super well accepted, of course, by people, because they are very comfortable and soft, and they're very close to what they are used to. Um, uh, but they have better trade, so that's the nice thing. We are able to personalize, and we are able to go seamless, uh, which adds to the comfort and uh, adds to the quality of the garment. So, yeah, acceptance is really good. The only problem we've had is producing, because that was like uh, like a nightmare. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, with when it comes to using new technologies, um, manufacturing is one of the biggest problems. Um, another problem is um, cost. How um, have you been able to tackle that? Uh, yeah, that was really a big issue. Also, we Dutch are quite uh, uh, cheap. <laughs> So everything is about price and I remember a guy who uh, was like a um, financial uh, director at big big international fashion brands. He told me like five years ago, Rosanna, don't be so price conscious. And I didn't accept this, I couldn't. But um, the thing is that now I realize how special it is what we're doing. And I was all the time a little bit um, careful and not not convinced of my own um, yeah, worth as a designer and in this industry, who am I to come up with a plan like this? It's crazy. And why should I be the person to succeed in this? So this was holding me back also uh, price-wise. I was trying to make it very affordable for a lot of people, but we just can't, we can't. We now realize that this is really big and we really need a good chunk of technology to make this all work. 
and we also realize that people are willing to support this so they are actually willing to invest in our um, supply chain um, much like the first Tesla people um, consumers uh, wanted to support the transition to this new system so this is also how we are now doing it so we up the price and it's not for everybody sorry everybody but it will be for everybody later but just not now and we just need uh, the support to um, yeah to build our uh, our company on supply chain to be able to uh, spread the 3d knitting all over the world um you're showcasing here at the key house this season um how have you found the audience in terms of have they been receptive to what it is that you're showcasing or have you found that you've had to educate them? Um, no, the, the audience has been very receptive. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we also experienced that it's now different than maybe three years ago uh, when we still had a lot of talking to do and a lot of convincing. But also our story now speaks more for itself. That's also uh, a factor that has changed. We have evolved so much and our team has grown. We've now got a lot of expertise and we have, have looked upon this subject from so many angles. that yeah, It's now a concise story that people can relate to much easier, I think. And also the time is right. So we are really happy with the uh, attention that we're getting and we're getting really serious people wanting to join uh, and that's exactly what we want we want basically everybody uh, who shares our vision to join in and build this system together yeah and like we said earlier um, you've evolved past the girl in the machine what is the name of your company now tell us a little bit yeah. uh, our company is now called new industrial order uh, and this is a name that uh, popped up um, uh, not long ago, a month or two ago, I guess, or three. And uh, at the moment that we were together with our uh, growing team, so we were no longer a girl and a machine. We were now with 10 brains uh, from all angles working on these topics and trying to connect everything uh, concept-wise um, before we are able to build it, of course. And we were sitting there together and we felt like, like this is really something. Something's going on here. It's like a new industrial order that we're setting up. So that's why we chose the name. I like it. I think the name is quite fitting and it's, it's quite nice to see how far you've come with your product and, how, and that you're here at the Key House. So what are your thoughts? I mean, how, have, has, how has the Key House treated you? Would you say it's something that um, people should attend? Or, I mean, how are you finding it? Um, yeah, um, it's really a good place for us to be here because there's so many um, other inspiring, sustainable and new technological uh, companies here. Uh, so that's really, um, yeah, a very, very nice atmosphere, very forward. Um, and I also, this is my first time Munich Fabric Start, and I'm really impressed uh, by yeah, the quality and the, the atmosphere. And yeah, everything is um, very advanced, I'd say. Yeah. Well, one thing I can say, um, Rosanna, is that she's going to be part of the Fashion Nerd panel here at the Key House. And I'm super excited to hear what you have to say when it comes to sustainable fashion. So I'm not going to ask you those questions now. We're going to keep that for the panel. So thank you so much for joining us over here. And we look forward to coming to your stand and seeing exactly that what it is that you are showcasing over here. Thank you, Rosanna.